Hi guys, this is the Recast 2009 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X 10.61 or 10.62 on Windows 7 for AMD users or Intel. Okay, so let's get it started on with this tutorial. <music> Okay, so for this tutorial, we're gonna need um, VirtualBox, uTorrent, and of course the downloaded CD version or whatever virtual disk version of Snow Leopard 10.61. So we're gonna open up Mozilla Firefox, go to uTorrent.com, then click free download and save it and install it. Then go to virtualbox.org then under the download section here you're gonna um, put virtual um, download virtualbox 4.08 for windows host for 64 and 32 bit and then click save file and install it and then we're gonna go to isohunt.com okay dot com we're gonna search for hazard snow leopard okay it's taking a while to search for it <coughs> Okay, and then when you come to this page, you're going to sort it by cedars S. Make sure it have from highest go down to zero. Okay, and you're going to click on Mac Snow Leopard 10.66. No, no, it's the third one here. Then sorry about that. It's um 10.61 SSE3, SSE2, Intel, AMD by Hazard. That's the one I downloaded and got it to work um, download the torrent open with you torrent click ok and let it download after you finish downloading you wanna go to open up virtual box okay let me just delete this here okay click on new next call it mac os x <coughs> Make sure the operating system is Mac OS X, the version is Mac OS X Silver. Click next. And the memory you want to give it, uh, that's RAM. You want to give it the most you could by staying in the green. So I'm going to leave it here because I only have 2 gigs of RAM in my computer. Then click um, boot hard disk, create a new hard disk, press next. Next. Dynamically expanding storage, next. And I'm going to give it about 100 gigs. 100 gigs. Um, that will not do nothing to my hard drive. Click next. Finish. Then finish. Click settings and then come to system. Then disable enable EFI. That is for special OSs only. Then the chipset should be set to P2X3. And then the processor should be up to 2. Well, how much you could give. And then hardware virtualization, make sure you have enable VT X for slash AMDV is selected and nested paging. And then come to display and give it the most you could that you are allowed, then click enable 3D acceleration. Come to storage. Um, the, under the ID control, you're gonna select empty, choose virtual disk, um, disk file, and then go to your desktop and choose hazard the one you downloaded and click OK then click start and then press F8 and then you're gonna press space hyphen V then you're gonna type in CPU S equals 2 okay um, that's for those of you who get kernel booting problems um, Darwin or something like that and then boss ratio I get that problem so um, I gotta put this equals 20 and then press enter <coughs> ok 
Okay, sorry about that there. I got mixed up. I typed in the wrong thing. Okay, so you're gonna put space hyphen V space CPUs equals one, then bus ratio equals 20, and then press enter, then press OK. And I'm just gonna put this to full screen here so you can see what I'm doing. Switch. Okay, and then click use English for the main language, then click the next button there. Click continue. Um just now I forgot. Yeah, click continue. <coughs> um agree. And then click on utilities, disk utility, and then click on the hard drive that you have given it, click erase under the erase give it a name like my mac then click erase uh, mac if volume format should be mac os x extended journal then click erase then click erase here again and it is partitioning it with the name my mac okay and then you can close out of this then click the my mac button there click continue then click customize you need to do this okay so you're gonna install mac os x 6.2 and under the bootloaders you're gonna select the charm chameleon 10.5 and the kernels you're gonna enable um, let the legacy kernel be installed graphic drivers graphic enabler okay graphic enabler and that's it mm, yep and if you want quick time to be installed you just select quick time okay but i will not install it this is just to show you guys that how to install and then click install i'm gonna just skip this here and after it finish installing i'll get um i'll unpause the video okay Okay, so um, as you can see here, it's installed succeeded. So just press restart. Okay, it's taking a little while to restart. Okay, so um, now you're going to go to devices and remove disk from virtual drive and then press Ctrl R to restart. Um, reset, so press reset. And basically, it is going to load up for itself now. Um, the Apple screen comes up it should start loading now wrong here okay it says start loading okay and then just take off that now it brings up this gray screen here and something should come up now okay welcome so I'm um, gonna select your country I'm gonna choose my country my country is Trinidad and Tobago there, click continue. Then I'm going to use the US. Then click continue. Um, do not transfer my information now. Continue. Um, continue. 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 And type in your full name there. So I'm going to type in mine. Then press continue. Okay. Continue. And it's creating your account connecting to Apple talking with Apple and then press continue and then there you go just click go and here it is guys Press continue. You want to press this no the um, then press OK and press done. Okay, and here yeah, it has it. Okay, guys, I wanted to keep the video under 10 minutes, so um, that's it there. It, 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 it is installed and everything there. So, well, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more cool videos. Bye.